67% of obese Americans feel that they've been discriminated against because of the way they look. But when you read a statistic like that, it's hard to get a sense of what that discrimination really looks like. That's why Tracy and I decided to find out firsthand by disguising ourselves as an obese couple. We knew it wasn't enough to simply look like overweight Americans. We had to act like them, too. I first tried walking around on the street the same way any obese person would. Within minutes, people were already hostile, glaring and muttering at me just because of my size. I was treated like a second-class citizen. Meanwhile, I was finding out how an overweight woman would be treated. I'll have the cheeseburger, extra fries, a milkshake, and an order of wings. If I was going to find out what it meant to be overweight, I would have to forget about the water diet I had been on for 15 years and eat with total abandon, not caring at all what I put in my mouth. You like it, huh? Good. Can I get some ice cream and cake? You betcha. To my great surprise, no one was judging me or expecting me to maintain some sort of image. No one cared if I had stains on my shirt or ketchup in my hair. I was learning that life as an overweight woman is very freeing. But out on the streets, I was getting a much different reaction. When I would barge into people clumsily like the obese always do, I would get glares and even insults hurled my way. While I was having the time of my life, Jim was nearly arrested just for being on the street. At the end of the day, we'd come to a realization. Fat men are tragically the most despised members of society. While fat women are the happiest, most worry-free people in all of America. It was a truly life-changing experience. I'll say it was. And I lost four pounds sweating in that fat suit all day. <laughs>